Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, looking at the LM336 today. Now, what is it? It's what's known as a reference diode or a voltage reference. Now, this one's a 2.5 volt voltage reference. And what do you use them for? Well, they're used in places where you need a constant, steady voltage reference, which is not really affected by temperature and is used in regulated power supplies, for instance, to provide a steady voltage reference for the error amplifier. It basically is used similar to a xenodiode. It looks like a transistor. It has three legs like a transistor, but it's not a transistor. It's an adjustable diode. So they've given us an adjust pin, which I will look at the data sheet to see what the pinout is. That means you could actually put a trim pot with the center wiper going to the adjust pin and the other two ends of the pot going across the anode and the cathode respectively. And you can trim the voltage. And that's something we're going to look at as well. Okay, this is a look at the data sheet here. With the description, the LM236 and 336 are precision 2.5 regulator diodes, basically reference diodes. These voltage reference monolithic ICs operate like a 2.5 volt xenodiode with a low temperature coefficient and a dynamic impedance of around 0.2 of an ohm. And as I say, the third pin enables adjusting the reference voltage and the temperature coefficient. So this is a look at the pinouts from the top view. So in the TO92 version, of course, so the adjust pin is pin 3, the voltage positive or the cathode of the diode is pin 2, and its anode is pin 1. So there's a look at their complicated schematic diagram for that. And the reference breakdown voltage for the 336 is a minimum of 2.39, typical of 2.49, and a maximum of 2.59. Uh, and so this is a look at the adjustable version. You just have a 10 kilo ohm trim pot across the adjust pin and the anode and cathode respectively. And as you can see, it's used similar to how you would use a xenodiode or xenodiode with a current limiting resistor or dropper resistor for those that want to be technical, um, just to limit the current going through the device. So I'm going to breadboard up just the uh, LM336 and dropper resistor on a piece of breadboard. My desk is a mess again. Um, and we'll just have a look at uh, how the thing operates. Okay, the thing is breadboarded up. I've got a power supply coming in at either end. I've got a multimeter measuring between ground and, well, in this case, it's the cathode of the diode, which is its output basically where the dropper resistor is in between that junction. Using this power supply today, set to around about 15.7 volts thereabouts. Multimeter is currently measuring what's going on, so we'll turn the load on and see what we get. Well, that was unexpected. That is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, I'm going to have to investigate. Okay, I figured out the issue. The pinout is actually wrong. Um, the center pin is still our cathode of the diode. The anode is actually over here on pin 3 and the adjust is on pin 1. Just for reference, I found another diagram of the pinout. The pinout is not wrong when you look at it on the device. It goes 1, 2, 3. It's the way they've drawn the actual internal schematic, they've put the flat on the wrong side of the device. So it goes pin 1, 2, 3 in that order. So pin 1 is the adjust pin, which we know. Pin 2 is positive, and pin 3 is negative. So yeah, it's just the data sheet has drawn the flat on the wrong side for whatever reason. It's backwards in the data sheet, unless there's a different version of this IC with a different data sheet, I'll have to really 
when I've finished experimenting, I'll have to look at that under a magnifying glass to see what the letters and numbering are on that particular IC. Anyway, turn the load on and connect the multimeter to the output might help too. There we go, 2.47 odd volts and reasonably stable within like you know moving around about 10 millivolts or so. So it's not that bad. So as you can see I've already got a trim pot installed it's just not connected to the IC so I'll quickly connect that up and it's a 100k not a 10k that's all I've got and um, we'll see if we can adjust that voltage even uh, more precise. Trim pot is connected up to the IC now. Okay I'll turn the load back on. We've actually now got 2.6 volt. So we'll adjust the trimmer and see what happens. Turning it counterclockwise currently and the voltage appears to be going up so the pot's wide backwards. So I'll turn it clockwise now and the voltage comes down. And we can actually trim that to exactly 2.5 volt if we want. It's going to take a while because it's the wrong value of resistance, but almost bang on 2.5. So that's not too bad. So once uh, you get the pin out correct, it um, will work fine. What I should probably do now is put it in to that regulated supply that I'm playing around with over there and just see how stable the output voltage is on, on its error amplifier. Okay, the reference diode is in this circuit and I had a lot of troubleshooting to do because the circuit refused to work. I lost a negative 5 volt reference. Anyhow, uh, it works now. I had to put the 100k trimmer back in because the 2k that I put in there doesn't have enough wick to adjust it at this lower reference voltage now. And I changed the um, negative voltage that's going into the op amp to 3.3 volt instead of 5. That's a uh, 0 volt on the pot. And if I wind the pot up now for the voltage, voltage starts increasing. And it needs a multi-turn pot here because it's very finicky. So I'm going to leave it at like 3 volt. And as we can see, the voltage is relatively stable. Going up and down by about a millivolt or so, which is okay, I guess. It doesn't have to be the most precise thing in the world. However, I do have this 2K2 pot left over, which I might hook up across the adjust and um, just see uh, if it can be adjusted out to 2.5 exactly. Yeah, it's worth a try. All right, that trimmer is in, connected across ground, positive of the diode and the adjust pin respectively. And I'm just gonna turn the pot down. And yes, it is decreasing. So I'm gonna keep decreasing it till we hit our reference voltage that we want of 2.5. It's getting there. There we go. 2.5 almost on the money. So now I need to reconfigure my multimeter to measure at the output of the thing now. And I just pulled a wire out, great. And we've got about 3.1 volt on the output now. So I'll just back that off to close to three volts. It's very hard with this type of pot. Come on, show me the money. I mean the money. So close. All right, 2.9, that'll do. So I'll let that just sit for a few minutes and then come back and take another measurement, see if the measurement has changed. Currently we're at 2.908. Five minutes later, the voltage has dropped off a little by about 80 millivolts or so. 
Um, not sure what's going on there, but the voltage reference should be still remaining stable, or else that voltage will be moving around quite wildly. Now, the reason why it's probably dropped off is due to circuit capacitances and the wiring, because it is a rat's nest. Um, I can verify what the voltage is at our reference diode. Alright, so I measure at the resistor and our negative point still 2.501 so it still remains stable however the regulated output voltage is moving around a bit it's decreased even further now now let's come back up that's probably more likely a stability issue with the circuit the way it's laid out on the breadboard anyhow that's about all i got for you today i hope you enjoyed that video that's a quick look at the lm336 voltage reference diode uh, yeah, the pinout is wrong in the data sheet. I've looked at the IC closely. All it says on it is LM336. So, and there's a manufacturer code above that. That's that's about it. Uh, there's no letter after the uh, six or anything. So, yeah, it's anyone's guess as to why the pinout changed. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. If you enjoyed it, please remember to go down below and rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, this is Yastro30 saying see ya, have a great day.